Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time of the hour when you're watching this, and uh, depending on where you are watching this from. Ben Fetcher is my name, and this is the Beholders Chat, right here on Wema TV, brought by the Christ Beholders International. And uh, I am so delighted to be here today to have a conversation on the Gospel of Christ. For Paul says in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the Gospel of God, the Hallelujah. Gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So anytime when I'm here sharing the Gospel, I know power is present. Mm -hmm. The Gospel does not have power. The Gospel is power so whatever is happening in your life that needs power a power encounter what you need is the gospel encounter and this is why we are here today and as usual the beholders chat i am not alone i am with the two of my friends who are part of the christ beholders family and on my right i have uh, uh bonnie glorious yes the glow <laughs> So how is yeah, I'm very fine. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I'm so blessed to be here for the Beholders Chat. Welcome. It's a blessing. Looking forward to more of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can say hi to the to the viewers. Hello, hello. You tell them something. You are blessed. <laughs> you are of God, and all things that makes God God now dwells on you. Hey. And today we are here to expound on the same. Now you become you a very high note. <laughs> <laughs> everything that makes God God yeah. is what makes you. It's in you now, <laughs> making you the son of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Then on my left, for the very first time on the Beholders Chat, mm. I have Apostle yeah. Jeremiah. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Apostle Jere. I'm saved by grace through faith, which is in Christ Jesus, and that's not my own. That's the gift of God. I'm mm. celebrating Jesus and his finished work on the cross. Mm. I am facing forward to be a blessing to your life. And I want to assure you that your life will never be the same again. Mm. I want to tell you that anyone who comes to the gospel of Christ, mm. the next thing you are transformed inside and then outside. God bless you. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise Something God. about uh, Jeremiah blessings that uh, I was once in your <laughs> CU chaplain. Yes. <laughs> Pastor. And <laughs> <laughs> you were in high school. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a very wonderful time. We thank God for Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I saw you at that time when you are you are playing mm -hmm. with the drum set. You yeah. are not playing the drum set. <laughs> 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 you you are know playing it was a good do do do. And uh, I thank God that uh, today we are sharing this platform. We celebrate God. Yes, we celebrate God. Amen. And we are here to sh to speak about Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because Christ is the center of of everything praise yeah. god because if you don't preach christ then mm -hmm. uh, is uh, i think it's spurgeon who yeah. said that if at the beginning of your message mm -hmm. there is no christ mm -hmm. in the middle of your message there is no christ mm -hmm. and at the end of the message there, there is, is no christ. christ then sit down and mm -hmm. look for something else mm -hmm. to do because you are not a preacher <laughs> go and do business <laughs> <laughs> So if a man cannot settle, uh, if a preacher cannot settle in the yes, place of Christ, yes. then he's on his own. Yeah, absolutely. But here we are to to talk about Christ, yeah. to understand Christ, mm -hmm. to know him. Paul says, you know, sometimes I look at Paul. Paul is one of the apostles that uh, is, uh, is really honored yes, because yeah. of the work that he did for mm -hmm. the church yes. in the beginning, yes. or when the church was being born. And uh, there is so much that he has written. Mm -hmm. But there is a place where he say that I counted all mm -hmm. as done yeah. for the excellence all that I may know Christ. Christ. Yeah. That I may know Christ yeah. and the power oh, of his, his resurrection. resurrection. And this is the same Paul that says the gospel now yeah. is the power of God yeah. unto salvation. Yeah. salvation. Yeah. So, so knowing Christ mm -hmm. is knowing power. Hallelujah. And knowing the gospel is knowing mm -hmm. Christ. Yeah. And wow. now it is unto salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe even before we go into our, into our topic today, yes. what do you what, what is salvation? Mm -hmm. glorious. Uh, salvation, salvation is the derivation of where. Everyone, what did you say? <laughs> it is that <laughs> derivation. Oh my it goodness! It is derived <laughs> <laughs> from this perspect, from where everyone is dead in sin, mm -hmm. everything because of one person's blunder in the beginning that brought death to all men. So everyone 
in every place really needed a savior. Wow. There were there were mediums there in between yes. which which were trying to suppose that there is something that can be done mm -hmm. for man to mm -hmm. attain salvation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now because man man goes beyond what we know or see. Yes. Man goes beyond the physical entity, beyond what we we go to psychologists to to solve and beyond what we think about. But man goes beyond physical and the soulish life. Man is a spirit. So mm -hmm. for for him to be saved wholly, he really mm -hmm. needed a higher being mm -hmm. who will come to the troubled man or yes. the trapped man so as to save him. Mm -hmm. And then in the saving him, God loved the world, he gave us his son. So mm -hmm. the aspect of God giving his son mm -hmm. that he may die and rise again for man and man might be made a partaker in the same. That is the that is the foundation of salvation. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said you mentioned something about psychology. Okay. So so uh, according to you, according to what how you put it out, it's like uh, the solution of man is yeah. not in psychology. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Biblically, mm -hmm. it's not in man. When you read the book of Thessalonians, the first Thessalonians, and I bet this came to me when Pastor Jerry shared one day, and it was so clear. Uh, he says in First Thessalonians five from verse twenty three mm -hmm. that. I, he Paul was praying for the church. He says that the Lord of all peace preserve mm -hmm. you holy, mm -hmm. holy of whole, W H O L L Y. Mm -hmm. That is the whole of your mm -hmm. being, the totality, so, of yeah, your being. the totality of your being. So mm -hmm. that means man, in his wholeness, is defined in that verse, and he mm -hmm. says that your spirit and soul and body, body yeah. be kept be preserved blameless mm -hmm. until the coming of our Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So there is a there is something that is in these three entities that is able to preserve man. Wow. But his 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 audience is the church at mm -hmm. Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. So it's anyone who is in Christ mm -hmm. who now is built up with the spirit, wow. soul and body. So when you go to the psychologist, they deal with the soul. But the preservative of the wholeness of man mm -hmm. begins from the spirit, the spirit flowing to the soul and then the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Praise wow. God. The man does not need to mm -hmm. be. The issues of man are not psychologically solved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The issues of man are spiritually solved. Sure. Absolutely. So psychology will come and deal with the mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, the word of God deals with the us heart. from the spirit yeah. perspective. Yeah. 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 So we're talking about salvation. Yes. See, the, power, the gospel of God is, is the, the power, power of God, God and to salvation. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'll say uh, salvation is the man. Mm -hmm. the man jesus christ this is a person mm -hmm. the bible says in the book of Ephesians 2 and from verse 8 for by grace are we saved through faith for yeah. by grace mm -hmm. grace who is the person mm -hmm. we are saved through faith and faith cannot work until grace has shown up yeah. and you know this is jesus christ yeah. the bible says that moses brought the law but grace and truth came through Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And you know, once we received Christ, that is salvation. The whole totality of God mm -hmm. is Christ himself. Wow. And you know, this man came, you know, he was made to be man. You know, he, he, he took everything that uh, man was to, to die for. And the Bible says, and Jesus became the sacrifice. So I will say that salvation is the man, Jesus Christ. Wow. And once you receive Jesus, you have received salvation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Amen, amen. You amen. know, there are there, there, People, even pastors, mm -hmm. yeah, if you tell them to define what salvation is, mm -hmm. most people will tell you, say, I was a sinner, okay, I was a drunkard, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 or I was, I was doing this and this and this, and now I have stopped, yeah. and now I'm doing this and this and this, yeah. so I am saved. Yeah. But is that the real aspect of salvation? I don't know why I'm going this direction, <laughs> I think I, it's good to follow the leading of the Spirit. Yeah. Is, this, is the aspect of salvation in what I was doing and yeah. what I am not doing now? Okay, okay, so uh, maybe from for me to come to the point where you are saying that I think that what I used to do is what defines my salvation also flows from the first aspect of spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. When we think that our salvation is from what our bodies used to do, mm -hmm. and then we think that the body now, because of the bodies stopping those things, now you think you are saved. Mm -hmm. And that's why I bet most of our fathers in the faith, or those who have gone ahead of us, mm -hmm. they think, mm -hmm. or they used to phrase it like, if I stop doing this, mm -hmm. then 
I will be saved. Mm -hmm. And then that one does not guarantee them of mm -hmm. eternal life. No they, wonder they are not assured of salvation. Yes, they are not assured of eternal salvation. But the Bible is clear that when Jesus died, he ushered us into eternal salvation wow. in the book of Hebrews. And that is eternally settled. Mm -hmm. So now, from the spirit perspective, when you understand that the issue of man is not the sins, the, the, the things that they are doing or the behavior, but the issue is their nature. Yeah. The yeah. inside nature, mm -hmm. the inner nature, the inner nature was the issue. The first murderer murdered because yeah. of the issue of sin which mm -hmm. was in him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God also was there to show them the way out. He, he, oh. was, he was speaking to Cain. Mm -hmm. Cain was still hearing God mm -hmm. and he was directing him. He was telling mm -hmm. him, sir, if you mm -hmm. offer well, mm -hmm. then you will be accepted. Yeah. If you offer well, then what was the offering there? God had taught them the way of sacrifice mm -hmm. or the only way to save man mm -hmm. was through slaughter or sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But now he brings the acts or what I can do physically mm -hmm. that can qualify me for salvation. Mm -hmm. But no, it's goes, it goes beyond that. It is about the inner life, mm -hmm. the spirit man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So man's, man's problem mm -hmm. has never been what he does mm -hmm. or what he do. Mm -hmm. Man's problem is not in your actions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe you can hear me. Yeah. Man's problem is not, not in what you action. do, yeah. it is in who you are. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Because at the fall, what mm -hmm. was affected mm -hmm. is not what man does, yeah. it is what man is mm -hmm. that was affected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the coming of Christ was not, was not to solve what you do, mm -hmm. but to solve and to change who you are wow. and when who you are is changed yeah. what you do wow. is change. automatically yeah, changed sure, in fact sure. i love it in second corinthians 5 and from verse number 17 mm -hmm. he said therefore if any man be in christ yeah. be in christ yeah. he is a new creation yeah. all things are passed away behold they are become new so if any man now be in christ is a new creation yeah. so how do you become a new creation by believing in jesus christ yeah. the old things are passed away yeah. now many pastors and uh, many be uh, believers try to think that uh, the old things they are the things that i used to do yeah. <laughs> but you know we are, talking about, we are talking about we are talking about nature and this is the old nature and this is was adam mm. Mm. and you know we are in the nature of adam we mm. have two natures mm. it's either you are in adamic or nature in or in christ yeah. nature yeah. but now he's saying if any man be in christ yeah. in this new nature yeah. the last adam yeah. okay uh, for me i don't like saying the second adam because yeah. it will mean there is the other adam <laughs> 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 their fault mm -hmm. the but the last adam and <laughs> now once you receive now when you come now to this new direction yeah. you don't focus on the other things yeah. and this is not uh, it has nothing to do the things with the things you used to do yeah. it is about the nature you are that's mm -hmm. why you don't teach your children to to lie they lie Yes, they are one year. I'm a cooler sukari. Remember? Oh, si This kid, I'm a cooler. He has been in the house for all the, all those the days. None of them. It's the nature. Yeah. But once now you come to the reality yeah. of the new creation, yeah. you live that life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very so true. we are the new creation mm -hmm. simply because we have believed in Christ Jesus. Wow. So easy, uh, easy bit in it. Bring the heavy ladders. Bring the unbelief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will settle it. Wow. Yes. So once you are in Christ, you are yeah. a new creation. Hallelujah. That's why you cannot lose your salvation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. This is spirit, soul, and body. Yeah. If any man in Christ, <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a new creature. Because yeah. someone may ask, I was tall. Mm -hmm. I'm still tall. Yeah. I was short. I did not become yeah. taller. Yes. So what, what part of me become, becomes a new creation? Yes. Yeah. But now this is the spirit, yes. soul, and body. Yes. Yeah. Because man <laughs> is a spirit. Yeah. He yeah. has a, a soul, soul yeah. and lives in, in the, the body. body. Yeah. Man is a spirit. He mm -hmm. has a soul and lives in the body. The, the body, body. Yeah. the body or the the body and the soul is what produces what we see on the outside. Mm, yeah. But the spirit yeah. is who you are in Christ. Mm, yeah. Wow. The mm. spirit is now us yeah. in Christ. Yeah. Yes. Now there is a, a very important aspect yeah. of every believer now who is in Christ. Mm -hmm. The aspect of the word yeah. and prayer. Yeah. So and uh, that is where I wanted us to to mm -hmm. come to yeah. the aspect of the word <laughs> and prayer. Mm -hmm. So what is the essence of the word? and prayer in the life of a believer now it's very important for a believer to to understand that for you to enjoy this new life mm. there are two things that you are supposed to encounter and that is the word 
and prayer. Why the word? Because, you know, we move because of the word of God. Mm -hmm. And we are who we are because of the word of God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, the Bible says in the book of Joshua, mm -hmm. Joshua from, from verse number 8, yeah. it's speaking and it's telling, the, God is telling Joshua mm -hmm. that and this book of the law yeah. shall not depart from your, your mouth. Yeah. For us, we can say, and this word of God yeah. shall not depart from your mouth. Yeah. And you shall meditate it day and the night. Mm -hmm. And how do you meditate it? By believing the word of God. Yeah. You know, it's we live because of we believe. You know, mm. it's because we believe. And because we believe, mm. we become. Yeah. You know, yeah. once we believe in Christ Jesus, yeah. that's the way of salvation. Mm. Sure. You know, you can just imagine uh, uh, being in Christ and there is no believing. Yeah. You know, yeah. but now we have been called to believe mm. and believe the word of God. And mm. how do we believe? We believe in what Christ has already done. Mm. We believe what is written in the word of God. Mm -hmm. And we live in that. Mm. And because now we live in that, now prayer becomes now our main thing. Mm. We mm -hmm. pray yeah. and we don't pray yeah. so that we can receive anything. Mm -hmm. We pray because we already receive. Yeah. So we speak mm -hmm. what we already believed. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Wow, wow. Yeah, the, the essence of word and prayer. Maybe I can also read a verse, mm -hmm. the book of uh, <coughs> First Peter. Mm -hmm. First Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to read uh, using the New King James Version. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> Because after now we are born again. Mm -hmm. But even before we are born again, yeah. I, I believe uh, the verse that I want to read tells us that we have been born again, not of the incorruptible seed, mm -hmm. but the, not of the corruptible seed, yeah. but the incorruptible, mm -hmm. which he calls the word of God. Mm -hmm. He says uh, from First Peter chapter 1, mm -hmm. from verse uh, 22, he says, since you have been purified, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, your souls in you have purified your souls in obeying the truth mm -hmm. through the spirit mm -hmm. in sincere love mm -hmm. of the ble of the brethren. Mm -hmm. I love that. I've mm -hmm. not seen it. Uh -huh. You have how do you purify your soul? Mm -hmm. you, pre you purify your soul <laughs> yes. by obeying the truth that is in the spirit. Oh, wow. yes. What is the truth of the spirit? Mm -hmm. I am the righteousness of God. Amen. I am accepted of God. Uh, yeah. So when you obey that, yes. how do you obey that? By believing. Yeah. Yeah. Because that is the New Testament obedience. Yes. Yeah. Believing. Yeah. Yes. So when you obey yeah. and believe that you are what God says you are in the spirit, mm -hmm. that is how you purify your soul. My God. You don't purify our souls by Mungu <laughs> Nauba <laughs> You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, it is interesting that uh, most of the times when we, we go for prayer meetings, yeah. the, first, the first few minutes, mm -hmm. you're told like, Sasa, and all that. Yeah. But uh, could you, you know, purifying our souls yeah. is very easy. Because yes. you're saying man is a spirit, yeah. he has a soul, yeah. and, lives and he lives in the body. Yeah. But now the spirit mm -hmm. is what God born again, yeah. and that is where you receive the completeness of Christ. Yeah. So the only way to purify the soul mm -hmm. is by obeying the truth yeah. in the spirit. Yeah. So that is believing yeah. mm -hmm. the reality yeah. of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a by the way. <laughs> <laughs> <In> sincere love, <laughs> of pregnant, yeah. love one another, fervently yeah. with a pure heart. Then verse 3 says, having been born again. Yeah. So also this uh, purification of the soul mm -hmm. is also attached to the, the, the verse 23. Having been born again, yeah. not of the corruptible seed, yeah. but of but incorruptible mm -hmm. through the word of, of God, God yeah. which lives and abides, abides forever. forever. Yeah. Wow. So that is to say, what gave birth to us yeah. is mm -hmm. the word. Yeah. So in that direction, uh -huh. only glorious. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the essence of the word? If the word is the one that gives birth to us, mm -hmm. now how do we walk in this word? Or how do we, uh, how, what is the essence of that word in the life of a believer? Okay. According, according to God and from from where we have been talking ab from, uh, when Joshua is told that this word of the law shall not depart from your mouth, mm -hmm. and not necessarily from your mouth, but out of your mouth, mm -hmm. but you shall meditate on it day and night, mm -hmm. that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein, mm -hmm. and then you shall make good success and you shall be prosperous. The meaning of that, it's that God himself knew that the only way for a man to 
make good success mm -hmm. to be prosperous mm -hmm. is by observing wow. what is in the mm -hmm. law or mm -hmm. what is in the word. Yes. Uh, yes. In, the, in the book of First Peter chapter 1 verse 23, mm -hmm. he's speaking to us that we, we are not just normal beings. Mm -hmm. We have been born again, mm -hmm. not of flesh and blood, mm -hmm. not even of a corruptible seed like mm -hmm. the flesh and blood, this one. It's but corruptible. Be, yeah, but, <laughs> but the incorruptible, yeah. which is the word of God. Mm -hmm. So for you to understand who you are, mm -hmm. there, there are some apostles who brings the word of God as a mirror, mm -hmm. that what happens, what really happens, you look at yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. and then when you look at yourself in the mirror, you realize wow. what kind of manner you are. Wow. And then when you continually, like Christ beholding, when we behold at Christ, we are being changed into who mm -hmm. we already are in Christ, Amen. who we already are, and then we metamorphose. You see, you know, metamorphosis, butterfly starts from you are taking me back to, to class. <laughs> to biology, <sir>. <laughs> 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 I loved biology. Oh, I met Pastor Jerry, took physics. <laughs> <laughs> He looks physical. <laughs> <laughs> so now, in the, in the progression, mm -hmm. it is it's not like the caterpillar happens, it's like there is something else that happens to it no it continually opens itself to what is already in the, in wow. its nature mm -hmm. so when you so it does not become something that it was not or it was not from the beginning yeah mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. has been there from the beginning when we were born of god when we believed in christ jesus the bad that happened there it was an a supernatural bad mm -hmm. it is god the nature of god the dna of god what now this is where i began what makes god god <laughs> <laughs> now it's on my inside yeah, yeah. and now that spiritual man for me to realize it and walk according to it in the outside and even in the christian walk it's when i go back to the word of god paul says that these things or this revelation have i written before in a few words that when you read you may understand mm -hmm. who you are or when you read you may understand my knowledge mm -hmm. of the mystery of christ wow. jesus which was received revealed by god to paul then wow. now that is what makes that person who he really is mm -hmm. so that's why i bet god opened paul that he may educate us <laughs> well, that, 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 that is that is uh, that is amazing yeah. that the word does not show us who we should become. Yeah. It shows us who we already, we already are. Yeah. And we'll take this conversation as we... I want us to go for a break. Yeah. Then we'll be back. Okay. After the break, we continue this conversation. Wow, wow that is amazing. Oh, Awesome, welcome back. This is uh, the Beholders Chat on Wema TV, yeah. brought to you by the Christ Beholders yeah. International yeah. Family. Yeah. And uh, we are so blessed. <laughs> I am with my friend, uh, uh, Apostle. <laughs> Bunny glory has the glory. It does not like being the called Apostle <laughs> and Prophet. <laughs> the prophetic idea. <laughs> yes, and we are here for no other reason but to talk about Christ. And it's, it's always a very, very exciting conversation. Hallelujah. Because... <laughs> this is what we were born to do in a, yeah. yes, born to do this. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about uh, just remembered about Joshua. Mm -hmm. Joshua Joshua is instructed. You read that verse. Mm -hmm. It's instructed by God that this word or this this book of the law should not depart from the mouth from your mouth and uh, meditate on it day and day night. And, night. Mm -hmm. and uh, we say that we are born of the word. Yeah. So if we are born of the word, we can only live by the word. Mm -hmm. We can only be sustained by the word. Yeah. And we say that the word does, uh, does not come to tell us what we should become. Yes. It only reveals to us mm -hmm. who we are. Yeah. I realize the word revelation does not mean uh, bringing something new. Yeah. It means bringing to clarity yeah. something that, that was which, already yeah. there. Yeah. Wow. And I was reminded of the story of uh, Ezekiel Gehazi. Yeah. Gehazi and Elisha. Yeah. They, are, they wake up 
one morning mm-hmm. and uh, he has an ear kwa kwanza kutoka nje yeah. he goes out and he realizes that they are surrounded by a great army and he's worried like oh my goodness yeah. we are dead kwa nyita na agani kumeskana we are going to die so he, he goes back into the house to to his master mm. Elijah he tells mm-hmm. him you know what you guy you are going to die mm-hmm. but there is something interesting about Elijah he yeah. didn't pray that Uh, God will bring an army. Yeah. He prayed that <laughs> your eyes yeah, be enlightened, be, wow. be open, wow. that you may see yeah. not an army that God is bringing, but yeah. that you may see yeah. that those who are on our side already, mm-hmm. they have always always been there. Yeah. Only that your eyes were blind to yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. That you may see the, that those who are on our side are more yeah. and vast yeah. than those who are on the enemy's side. Yeah. So the work of the word is not to show us something that is not there yeah. or to make us become something that we are not yeah. is to reveal what is already there absolutely yes now joshua <laughs> joshua is told to meditate yes <laughs> so yes. what is to meditate no you know meditate mm. meditate this is focusing your attention on something to a point that it never leaves you conscious mm-hmm. i'll repeat again meditation this is focusing your attention on something to a point that it never leaves your conscious wow. let me tell you something you can decide to meditate on the word of god mm-hmm. and make the word of god happen for your good yeah. you know joshua was told meditate on this word yeah. and what do we mean by the word meditate on this word pay attention to what i am saying yeah and when you pay attention to what i'm saying mm. you won't live as you jiana bada you won't live as you mm. you live as what i have called you to be mm. you know? <laughs> and you know we are what the word of god says yeah. we are mm-hmm. and therefore when we look at the word of god we can still just as pastor boni has just said that when we look at the mirror we can see ourselves yeah. and you know this has been the plan of god from the beginning of time yeah. he wants us to see himself he wants us to see him and once we see him we can see ourselves mm. just as he is the bible wow. says and the, the book of first john 4 and uh, that that as he is so, so are we in know. this world so when we meditate on the word of god yeah. it simply means take the word of god believe the word of god mm. and walk ye in the word of god mm. and you know when you walk in, in the word of god mm. you won't see the things that are going around you know peter one day they are in the, in the boat and you know yeye peke yake ameona oh this is jesus walking on water yeah. there is something that i know i can do what he can do mm. so he is telling jesus if you are the one tell me to come tell me to come and jesus was like yes you can do all things you can do all things through me mm. and peter began to walk on water and you know the other disciples were like this is the ghost this is what this is what is happening but peter knew that when i focus on him i won't drown yes yes so when we speak about meditating on the word of god it means paying attention to what god has already called mm. us to do paying attention yes paying attention mm-hmm. <laughs> you know you said paying attention and <laughs> yes. reminded of someone yes <laughs> they grew up so poor that they couldn't even pay attention <laughs> <laughs> well you say that uh, <laughs> meditating is focusing on mm-hmm. the word yes and to a point where the word does not leave your conscience mm-hmm. wow wow that is big mm-hmm. it's focusing on the word and mm-hmm. focusing on the truth yes. so I, i believe you cannot focus on the word if you don't believe it yes you have to yeah. believe it sure Wow. And uh, uh I saw somewhere that uh meditation any man who can med- who can worry can also meditate. Yes. Because worry is meditation. Meditate is meditation. Mm-hmm. It's meditating on the on the on the, ne- on the, <laughs> on the negatives. Yeah. But now we are called to meditate. It's to focus yes. on no the word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you say? Wow, that, that is so beautiful. Uh, are you paying, t- paying attention or you're poor? No. I'm, not <laughs> <too>. <laughs> I'm, I'm really paying. <laughs> attention can testify in you. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that you are really paying. <laughs> yeah, so maybe from, from that from from what you've said mm-hmm. that I, I love I love the, the last statement, the closing statement that the place that can worry 
it can meditate also because mm -hmm. it is the it is the faculty in man that the faculty in man that fears or worries is the same that meditates mm -hmm. and there's, there's a place in the word of god where he says we have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, fear yeah. but of love power and of a sound mind mm -hmm. that is what we have received that mm -hmm. is what we carry along and that is what we walk in yeah. so if the place of meditation is kept in the word of god mm -hmm. and it is it is like like pastor Jerry, when you read that it shall not depart from your mouth mm -hmm. out of your mouth mm -hmm. it means there is it is coming from within wow. then it flows and in the flowing what because as a man thinketh in his so heart is. so he is and then what flows from the heart from the abundance of the heart it is the mouth that speaks so when you ponder when you meditate on that thing mm -hmm. the, the place of speaking is altered mm -hmm. so as a man thinketh oh who you really are mm -hmm. you are you are you are tempted to speak of who you really are mm -hmm. and speaking brings forth the reality of what is in you mm -hmm. this is life and death is in the power of the tongue oh, yeah. and they that know it they shall eat the fruit therein so mm -hmm. it flows when we when we think of the word of god when you meditate on the word of god like this there's an illustration that i've been given somewhere that when you stay present when you read the word of god and then you keep it in your mind then you keep it and you keep it you continue reading it oh. And then you go again and go again and repeat the same same thing you will, you will find yourself that what you are what you've been meditating on is what you are thinking and what you are thinking is what you are doing and speaking mm -hmm. and from the inside comes the outside mm -hmm. and then that is what Joshua I made was saying that is one of the ways that you make your way prosperous mm -hmm. you find that everything is coming in contact because yes. there, there is there is no essential it, it, it ends with speaking mm -hmm. in fact when you go deeper to the Hebrew I don't like mentioning that because some people think that we mentioned them <laughs> to show how we have studied a lot but it's for the emphasis of what God is revealing because the Bible originally was written in Hebrew and Greek mm -hmm. it says it's to matter and to think upon thinking upon without departing from it and then you stay present to that then when you stay present to it you will find yourself muttering you find yourself speaking, speaking yeah so the end of it you speak the word you find yourself speaking it and then when you speak it you find it going according to the word of god hallelujah amen so i see i see the cycle there is a cycle there yeah you're born of the word yeah and uh, the word is the reality of who you are in the spirit yeah then you focus on the word you meditate on the word yes so that is to say that mm -hmm. you fill your mind yeah. with the word yeah then it says yeah. as a man thinketh mm -hmm. so because your mind is filled with the word yeah so you speak the word yeah and even god yeah created by the word yeah sure so sure. when you speak the word yeah you create the success yeah. by the word yeah. so you mentioned conscience and you've also mentioned thinking yeah. so that is to say the word mm -hmm. is food for the soul yeah. not yeah. the spirit mm -hmm. because the conscience is in the mind yes yeah. thinking is in the mind yeah. yes <laughs> You know, uh, th th there is something that uh, really blesses me here in Proverbs 1 and from verse 2. Mm -hmm. To know wisdom and instruction. Which translation are you reading from? Uh, New King James. Okay. To know wisdom and instruction, to mm -hmm. perceive the words of understanding. Verse 3. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, yeah. and judgment, and equity. To give sub sub subtility mm -hmm. to the simple, yeah. to the young man, knowledge and discernment. Mm -hmm. You know, Solomon was writing all this mm -hmm. to give wisdom to the simple and understanding to those who have who don't have any. Mm -hmm. So the word of God is here to give us wisdom and to allow us to to know and to re, to, to really know who we are and what has already been given to us. Mm -hmm. So I will say that um when we are told to to meditate on the word of God this is paying attention to that which has already been said about to us mm -hmm. yes yes so it is paying attention to the, the to the to the reality to of the, the spirit. reality of the spirit because the, the i have realized that the word of god does <coughs> not change your spirit yes your spirit is <laughs> complete complete yes. yeah. in christ yes yeah. a new creation <laughs> forever justified mm -hmm. righteous yeah. perfectly perfect yeah. Yeah. someone say it when we go to heaven when we go to heaven <laughs> yes. uh, there will be no polishing for the spirit mm -hmm. the, po the spirit in a part of chafu we need to mm -hmm. polish no like we used to have mungaro <laughs> <laughs> there will be no po polishing yeah. because 
as he is right now, mm -hmm. so is your spirit. Yeah. But now when the word, we talk about the word of God, the word of God now mm -hmm. shifts our focus from the outside mm -hmm. to the reality of who we are mm -hmm. in the spirit. Yeah. What is the importance of that? The importance of that <clears throat> is because it's, it's, God is not looking forward to perfecting men. Mm -hmm. In fact, God has already rested. Mm -hmm. yeah. And everything that is needed. <laughs> Say that again. Okay. Okay. God has rested. Yeah, God has rested. In then, peace. Uh, no, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. See your okay. The, the reason why I skipped that, I, I know my viewer is getting it. Yes. You know that illustration mm. has been mentioned many times, not in good places, uh, not I even know. in weddings. I know. Yeah, and even marriage should be a place where you say, "Wow, finally the bachelor is resting in peace because hey. now." <laughs> I say hallelujah I, I, to that. I, I believe it does not begin there. It begins when you receive Christ. Yeah. Everyone who has received Christ, yeah. you're resting in peace. You're yes. better in, in resting. No, continue. You're resting <laughs> in peace. So, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> no, context, so, God is resting. So contextually, God is resting very well. He is at peace. Wow. Okay? So, he has finished everything that he needed. In fact, when I was reading that verse in Thessalonians, I realized there's a place that comes and Paul shifts from saying, I pray God preserve you. After saying preserve you, holy, he does not say, I pray again that your spirit, soul, and body be preserved by the Lord. Mm. Because the preservative is by virtue of the nature of that being that we have inside. inside us. It is the one that is able mm. <laughs> My God. He says in Ephesians 3.20 that unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above, above all only. that we may ask yeah. or, or even think, think mm -hmm. according to the power, not that works in him works where he is in the heavenly places, mm -hmm. but works inside of us. Mm -hmm. So God has placed every ability that is needed My for us. In us. Mm. It is fully settled inside of us. Wow. Hallelujah. So now, uh, when, when, we, when we look at the word of God as in a mirror, and when we stay, when we stay present to it, uh, <laughs> that, is, that is the place of where you, you, <laughs> your will or your mind is completely swallowed by the mind of God or yes. the will of God inside yes. of us. And then the way you see life or the way you view life mm -hmm. now becomes not like you want to view life, but like Paul, like God wants to view life. Wow. That is where now Paul says that when you read, you may understand him or his perspective of mm -hmm. revelation. Because mm -hmm. when you read, it mm -hmm. shows you who you are. Mm -hmm. And then when you meditate on that, yes. you come into the place of understanding who you really are. Mm -hmm. And that is the place of perfection that is Praise the place God. of perfect perfection not from the outside to the inside from but the from inside. within mm. to the outside okay. and that is even the difference between the testaments the mm. old testament used mm. to try to change man from outside, outside to in inside. Mm -hmm. but the nature of god is from within to the outside because if we try that mm. there is a person who was jailed for 10 years for a crime then after he left jail he went and repeated the same crime again mm -hmm. so if it's from the outside that guy was supposed to be the most perfect person mm. but because it's from the inside. There's a wow. guy in our nation who we know, and me, I, I've, I've personally seen him with my eyes. He used to do some things which were evil, like he, he used to eat people. He used to slaughter them and eat them. Mm -hmm. But then, one, there was an, he came, he encountered the gospel while in jail. Mm -hmm. And then that thing changed his being. Wow. And today, that guy is ministering the gospel in, commit, in, in, our, in our highest prison in Kenya. So he stopped eating them, he started ministering. To yes, now he started ministering because the difference <laughs> is from the, no, not, not just from the, oh, he was ministering. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> <laughs> My God. So he was ministering <laughs> from men, but now he's ministering to them. Wow. So it's it came from the from the inside. When now he perceived the gospel, the God way. Now it changed him from the inside. And today now he can be able, we can see the transformation wow. happening. Mm -hmm. But now when you try to do it from the outside, there is a big error. So the word of God, when we look at it. When we take, he, he says, he speaks from the sun perspective. You will attend to my words. When you study, when you have knowledge of this, mm -hmm. it brings understanding to you. And when you do so, mm -hmm. it will change your life or how you Praise live. God. Wow. Yeah. Amen. So the word brings, brings out the reality mm -hmm. of the perfection of sure. Christ. Yeah. The perfection of God. Because Absolutely. you say that uh, God is resting. He's not working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the word enables us yeah. to come into the place and where we rest with God also. Yeah. Where we, the, the word shows us our rest. Yeah. Because uh, according to what you've said, yeah. I, I've seen that uh, 
the the word mm. brings us to the place where we we start seeing things not from our human perspective yeah, exactly. but to uh, we start seeing things from the the godly perspective yeah. so we see like god sees yeah because in his perspective yeah. everything is perfected Absolutely. everything is complete yeah. but when we look using the the human perspective yeah. we see things like they are broken yeah. and that reminds me of a verse in, uh, that says that mm -hmm. when god looks at earth yeah. the bible says that he saw the earth full of glory yeah but when we use our eyes yeah. we see it full of corruption yeah we see Very it full true. of evil yeah so so that is to say the yeah. word of god helps us to come it elevates us yeah. to the place where we see from the godly perspective. Praise Sorry. God. Wow. Jeremiah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, there is this verse that really blesses my heart. Yes. Proverbs 4 and from verse number 20. My yes. son, attend to my words. Incline thy ears unto my saying. Mm -hmm. You know, the word was written. Yeah. And he said, now, attend to my wow. words. Attend mm -hmm. to my words. Mm -hmm. You know, in this world, you have many things that you'll hear. Yeah. Like for example, we are in an election period. Yeah. There is things that you always hear. Yeah. When you go to to business, there is things you always hear. Yeah. When you go to uh, to education sector, mm -hmm. there are things, many things that you'll hear. Yeah. But now, mm -hmm. the Bible reminds us that mm -hmm. now, wait a minute. Yeah. Incline to my words. Yeah. Hear my words. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. The reason as to why there is a difference between the people of the world and mm -hmm. the people who are born again, yeah. it's because of what we hear. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, someone said, what you hear, it will really manifest. Mm -hmm. It will really speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to be is to hear the word of God. Wow. You know, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I would like to know what is God saying about my life. Yeah. And you know, I'll know that by paying attention mm -hmm. into his word. Yeah. And once I pay my attention into his word, mm -hmm. I can know my position yeah. in him. Wow. Not only do I know my position in him, mm -hmm. but I can know the will of God yeah. who is Christ in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I live a victorious life. The Absolutely. reason why we live a victorious life, mm -hmm. it's not because of the happenings, yeah. because the happenings are because of the happiness. Yeah. But to us, uh -huh. we are joyful. Wow. The joy Praise of the God. Lord is Amen. our strength. Yeah. Yeah. That's why this thing cannot get out of us. Yeah. Sometimes you may lack. Yeah. But the thing that makes you look like, have you ever, umepatana um, say, and they, these guys are like, and you're like, oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. I wish you guys, you knew. Yeah. But again, yeah. there is something that is in me mm -hmm. that I just have to, I just have to be me because I'm walking in the reality. Yeah. So when you tell me the things that I cannot, I'm, I know that I'm walking in that reality. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I will say this, that when you hear the word of God, yeah. and once you pay attention into the word of God, uh -huh. the next thing is yeah. that you will walk that that yeah. that, uh, that reality. Mm -hmm. And that this is the plan of God. This yeah. is the idea of God. Yeah. That my children should walk in the newness of life. Wow. Walking as I am walking Amen. in this life. Mm -hmm. And you know, once you know that, even mm -hmm. when it's come to speaking things, yeah. you speak as a child of yeah. God. Yeah. You know, when Jesus was in this world, mm -hmm. you know, this guy used to speak things and they used to happen. Yeah. You know, I'm a cat even he's telling people, and then you can go in And if anyone asks, yeah. tell him, yeah. the master yeah. is in control. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and you know, they could go. Yeah. And no one was to ask. Mm -hmm. And you know, I talk about some Kutano. So this is to tell us that there is an, an authority that comes by knowing the word of God. God. And you know, God wants us to, to, to walk in that. The Bible says that the righteous that shall decrease, so shall it be. Yeah. So we speak again the word of God by meditating. So yeah. there is an advantage yeah. by by knowing the word of God, yeah. you will speak the word of God, yeah. and whatsoever you speak, yeah. men, yeah. it has to manifest because yeah. you're a child of God. Yeah. The Bible says, yeah. asking, how can a son ask for a bread yeah. and he's given stone? No how way. can he ask for a meat and he's given samaki? No you way. know, no way. Yeah. Our Father is so faithful. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Wow, wow. We're talking about the word of God, yeah. and uh, even God Himself yeah. works by His word. Wow. Yes, uh, it reminds me of a story in the the first miracle. Of, of Jesus oh. in Cana of Galilee. My God. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they ran out of uh, wine. Yes. Yeah, Jesus yeah. and wine. Yeah. <laughs> they, Hallelujah. So they ran out of wine and uh, Mary, they went to Mary and they told her that 
uh, the wine is over. Uh-huh. We don't have wine. Uh-huh. So they wanted him to go. They wanted her to go and speak to yeah. Jesus, to yeah. Jesus yeah. because yeah. Jesus was <laughs> her son. Mama mm. mother. <laughs> so yeah, that is where people started yeah. sending Mary to pray for them. Yeah. <laughs> so Mary went to Jesus and told told Jesus, you know what? Uh, there is no wine. Yes. <laughs> Jesus looked at her and asked, Oh man, <laughs> what do I have to do with you? And uh, Mary realized that. Uh, that thing that you're trying to send me to pray for you mm. does not work that way because this man looks like he works by his by words. His own, right? He works by his words. Yes. So Mary went back and met the guys and he told them, mm. she told them that uh, this man, mm. uh, he does not work the way you think. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that thing you uh-huh. want to start here, it cannot work here. <laughs> so go and look at him. Yes. Look at his lips. Mm-hmm. Whatever you hear him say, Wow, do it. Wow. Because he works with his word. Wow. Praise God. Even today, mm. it is not anything else. There is no other way. Yeah. So these guys, they wanted Mary to pray for them, to Jesus. But Mary realized it's not me praying for you. Yeah. It is you hearing his word. Wow. Yes. And this is now what even shapes our prayers. Wow. Ah, our time is up and uh, <laughs> <laughs> in our next episode now we'll we'll talk about prayers yeah. from there mm-hmm. but uh, what Mary what the guys had started with Mary yeah <laughs> They ended the same day. Yeah. So don't tell Mary to pray for you. Yes. It doesn't work that way. Jesus works by his word. Yes. So I want you to give you a parting shot. Mm-hmm. Just one second. One, one. second. <laughs> Meditate on the word of God. Yeah. It will make you mm-hmm. what it speaks about. Yeah. Ah. It will make you mm-hmm. what it speaks about. God yeah. bless. Hallelujah. Amen. And me, let me part this way. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask whatsoever thing you will, and it shall be given to you. So Jesus presented that when you stay present to the word, and the words stay present in you in meditation, Mm -hmm. then you will ask for anything, and And it shall be be done for you. Wow, 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 wonderful. What a way to wrap it up and uh, remain in the place of the word. Pay attention. Pay attention. attention. That means meditate. Focus on the word. You are not what the world says you are. You are not what people say you are. You are not what your family says you are. You are not what your bank account says you are. You are not what your doctor told you you are. You are what the word says says you are. are. And that is who you are for eternity. Do not allow anything else to define you. Mm. Be defined. By the, by the word, word. of God. Amen. So let's meet in our next episode. Mm-hmm. You are blessed. Amen. Father, we thank you for the ministry of your word. Thank, thank you, you for our viewers today. Plenty they are blessed in Christ Jesus down. as they meditate mm-hmm. and pay attention to the word. Mm-hmm. Their lives will never be the same again mm-hmm. and they will enjoy good success and they will be prosperous in all their ways. In Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen, amen and amen. amen. Thank you. This has been the Beholders Chat mm-hmm. and my name is Ben Fetcher. Thank you.